It's up to your father to face his problem, but maybe we can help him. First of all, your father is going to have to look deep into his own heart. Only then can you and I begin to help him. My family's really broke, Doctor. So I've got to set something up immediately. What do you mean by that? Don't you get it? What do you think I mean by that? Why don't we just forget it? Let's not talk about it anymore. Funda, are you all right? Oh, are you all right, honey? Here, let me help you. I'm okay. Okay, here. Thank you. Oh, my God! What happened to you? She fell, but everything's all right, I'm sure. I'm her mother. I'll decide if everything's all right. Mom? Are you all right, Funda? Mm -hmm. I can take it from here. What are you doing here, Mom? You mentioned helping me find a job when I get out. Visit this address. A man named Ahmet will help you out. Thank you so much. Good luck, Suat. Hey, how you doing? Uh, sorry, fellas. We're closed. Well, you're open for us. Sure. Do you know who this person is? Never seen him before. Are you sure? We'll catch him. Mm, it's hard to say, really. It was a very long time ago. I remember some things, but... When you're my age, your childhood seems more like a distant dream. Hmm. I think that there might be something missing from my childhood. I don't understand. My mother doesn't tell me about my childhood. She doesn't like to talk about it. There is some stuff that I can't remember. I can remember some pieces, but I can't complete the picture. I don't know. It's kind of like a puzzle, except that some of the pieces are missing. How you doing, Sean? Okay. So I heard you're getting out of here real soon. Yeah, I'm getting out soon. So what? Mr. Mahir wants to see you as soon as you're out. He has a job for you. One evening, someone came to the door asking for Nori. I watched them out the kitchen window. They were talking just outside. I think there were three of them. Either they were trying to learn something from him or they were trying to get him to do something. Who the oh, hell are don't you? Hurt him, son. Who I are you? Him. Stop it. You know him? Oh, it's okay. He's Oya's father. Oya, come home. Please come home. I'll be damned if I touch you again. Please, Oya. I'm so sorry. I don't believe you, Dad. But why not, sweetie? You must be tired. <laughs> you should get some rest. Is there anything you want to talk to me about? There is. I'd like to ask you something about my childhood. I don't exactly understand what you want to know, honey. What's the problem? It really bothers me that there are some things that I can't remember from my childhood. Why don't we talk about it tomorrow? I don't think I'll be able to fall asleep if we don't talk about it. You must be tired, dear. School must have upset you. You need to get some rest. I'm not tired, Mom, and I'm happy at school. It's something else. Look around you. This mansion, wealth and comfort, everything's all yours. I have a strange feeling, Mom. There's something I'm not aware of, something that I don't know. Sweetie, you're my everything. You shouldn't worry about every little thing. If only I knew what bothers you so much. It's hard to describe how I feel. It's as if I'm on the verge of something. It's like one more step and I'll figure out what it all means. I just don't know. Don't think about it, dear. Why don't we go to Italy for the weekend? It'll cheer you up. Come on. <sighs> no, I don't think it'll help. I don't think I'll be happy until I find the answers to my questions. Oh, dear. My princess, you have to know that I'd do anything to make you happy. Anything in the world. I love you, Funda. <laughs> Please don't ever leave me, Mom. 
I'll never leave you alone, honey. I'll always be with you. It's been a long time since we lost her. We found out she's still alive, but we don't know where she is. What a terrible burden. I can hardly imagine. I'm so sorry. I hope you find her soon. We pray for that every day. And sometimes, sometimes I feel as if I'm so close to her, as if she were right next to me. And other times I lose all hope. But it's good just to know she's still alive. And in my heart, I have faith we'll be together again. You're an incredibly strong person. I know you'll find your daughter. That's so sweet of you, Oya. Thank you. <laughs> you may not be aware of it, but you're killing your daughter, your own daughter. Here's your egg salad. Oh, it looks delicious. Oh, that was always your favorite, even when you were a kid. Enjoy. As long as you cook it, we love it, Ma. Hey, stop flattering her and eat your breakfast, bro. <laughs> Come on, don't be jealous. Mom always says not to talk when my mouth is full. But you keep talking. <laughs> Look who's talking. Hey, give the kid a break, will you? Mom? I wish your father were here, too. <sighs> you, too. Good luck out there. Bye. Take care of yourself. Take care. You want your... Goodbye. Yeah, I... Thanks. Bye. Goodbye, man. Good take luck. Take it easy. Good luck on the Goodbye, outside. Man. Take it easy. You take care. Take Go care. Ahead. Don't come back again, okay? No way. Thanks for everything, Doctor. Of course. Take care of yourself, Sean. No problem, Doctor. You can count on it. I've been in this business for years. I met so many wannabes. Tough guys, gang members, you know, bad, wicked people. <laughs> You're quite different from us. You surely don't belong in this place at all. Mm. You are a unique man, Doctor. An honest man. Always remember what we talked about. And never forget your time here. Your family is the most important thing now. And the best way to honor them is to live your life with dignity, no matter what you choose to do. What can I say, Doc? And keep in mind, no matter how desperate you are, you have your integrity. Thanks to you, Doc. Thanks for everything. Take care, Shahan. God bless you. Good luck. Goodbye, you guys. Take care of yourselves.
I was gonna visit you. What's the hurry? I wanted to be the first to welcome you. And you know how Mr. Mahir doesn't like to waste any time. I haven't seen my son in more than a year. I gotta stop at home first. Of course. Hop in. I'll drive you there myself. I left these streets years ago. I left and thought I'd never come back. It's fate. Not fate for me. What I've chosen to live. We reap what we've sown. Make it right here. Here? Yeah. Here, this is for you. I know you must need it. I don't need it. Take it, as an advance. I'll pick you up in the morning. I won't take it because I'm not taking the job. <laughs> Listen to me. I'm just trying to do my job, okay? I'll pick you up tomorrow morning, and you can talk to him about it yourself. Come on in, honey. Come in. my big boy. I'm okay. Hmm? <laughs> huh? What's wrong with him? He was diagnosed with kidney failure. I didn't tell you because I didn't want you to worry. They said we needed a lot of money for his treatment. What are we going to do then? Are we going to lose hope because we're poor? Because we can't even afford to save our own son? I've spent many nights crying in despair. I don't know what to do. <laughs> but I know what to do. And I'll do what I have to. Don't you worry. This is him, Mahir. He's been convicted four times. Kidnapping, blackmailing, drug dealing, and smuggling. He's been paroled twice. Hmm. It says here that this guy was also tried for racketeering. Hm. What do you think? It seems that Mr. Mahir has been doing some illegal business at that hospital, and your father has put a crimp in his style. Well, apparently we're all agreed on that. But the big question is, what do we do next? Okay, everybody, I've read your essays, and they all seem to have the same problem. You're all impetuous. You have to think about your outlines in detail before you begin writing. I've graded your papers. And so, when you get them back, I'd like you to read the feedback I've given you. Funda? Would you please hand these out to everyone, dear? Sure, Mrs. Hockdown. I see your dad is outside waiting for you. Should I go down there and talk to him? Should I see him? I really don't know what to do anymore. Listen, Hoya. Life isn't easy. You're going to face a lot of problems. And as you grow up, it's up to you to find the strength and courage to overcome them. 
Do you think I can overcome this problem and my father can quit drinking? As long as your father is determined enough, he can beat any addiction, believe me. He just has to be strong and take action. Go talk to him, Oya, and let him know you love him and miss him and want him to be well. It's not your stomach, it's your kidneys. You need to get to the infirmary. They're gonna have to run some tests. Then the doctor can make a proper diagnosis. This place does have its own infirmary, but anybody who's not 100% usually ends up here. I don't mind. <laughs> Who is he? He doesn't sound well. You mean Ismail? He's been sick since he got here. Something in his lungs. He's the guy I always see smoking. Have you spoken to him? He's not talkative. He's a grumpy old bastard. He doesn't talk to anybody very much. What's he in for? Murder. Put away for life. He never smiles. Nobody's ever seen him smile. He was the first one they put in this ward. He's known as Ismail the Wall. Nobody can get through to him, you know? What happened to us, dear? Where did we go wrong? You've got to ask yourself that question, Dad. I'm not the one that's <sighs> responsible. Come back home, dear. I promise it won't be like it was before. I've changed. Changed what, Dad? Did you quit drinking? Or did you find a new job? No, but you have to give me time. I'm trying to cut back on my drinking. With every drink, you're not only ruining your own life, you're ruining mine as well. I don't believe anything's changed. <laughs> Please, Oya, don't you love me anymore? I'm your dad, remember? I do love you, Dad. You're all I have in this world. But I'm not going to come back home just because I love you, Dad, and I won't come back until you face the fact that you have a serious drinking problem. So I talked to my dad today, and I couldn't even look into his eyes. I know that he loves me very much, and I know he's upset. Being upset isn't enough, Oya. He has to actually do something if he expects to get any better. First and foremost, your father has to stop drinking. I know, but I'm still worried. But I'm also sure that nothing is going to be different when I go back. You told me your dad hits you when he thinks about your mother. Could you tell me more about your mother? My mother? My mother left us. She left us for another man. Uh, oh, I see. Then we heard that my mother got really sick. My dad never went to visit her in the hospital. And he never forgave her. When your father looks at you, he sees your mother. He projects his hatred of her onto you. And the alcohol doesn't help. Alcohol erases his ability to reason. It turns an otherwise good man into a brutal person. What am I supposed to do? I'll talk to your father, Oya. Your dad has an opportunity here. A genuine chance to change his life for the better.
Please. Please. Please, God. Oh, God. Help me. Would you like a glass of milk? <laughs> Why are you it's crying? nothing, Mom. Honey, what's happening to you? You can tell me. Very strange visions pass through my mind every night. They're so horrifying. What kind of visions? What are you seeing? There's a man. A man? A cruel man, and he's terrifying. What else? He kidnapped some kid, a girl. Never mind about all this. It's all nonsense. Forget it, okay? Try to think of something else. Think about how much I love you, Funda. So who is it that I've been dreaming about? Why do I keep having the same nightmare? Maybe it's something you saw in a movie recently. Mm -hmm. You're a very sensitive girl. Just like your mother, mm -hmm. just like me. Oh, I love you so much, Mom. I love you too, sweetie. You are my everything. You know, you should quit smoking. Whatever. <laughs> Take one. It'll lift your spirits up. So many cigarettes is too risky at your age. They'll be the death of you. I'm ruining myself. So what do I care? I went to see the doctor last month. He told me not to smoke anymore or I'll die. Who cares? I'm not afraid of death. Death comes for us all, but God has blessed each of us with a body. I doubt his intention was for us to abuse it until we die. I hate to be lectured, Doctor. I just wanted to chat with you, but you've started a sermon. Have a good night. All right, good night. Here are all the addresses Mahir used. Well, what about the addresses that other people are living at that he once was at? <laughs> Maybe Mahir isn't at any of these addresses. Who knows? Yeah, it's like searching for a needle in a haystack. <sighs> Hello? I have information on someone you're looking for. I'm listening. Who is it, man? Shh. I know the whereabouts of Turu. He's messed with me, and I want him to pay for it. Go ahead, keep talking. Here, here. He's finishing off a job tomorrow. At the construction site. On Yali Avenue in Toy Street. Number 14, around noon. Tell me who you are. Why should I believe you? <sighs> he hung up. But still, <clears throat> it's our best lead so far. We've got an address. Should we go check it out? It could just be someone with a gripe. On the other hand, it could be true. Hmm. Then we check it out.
What's wrong? What are you, Kelly? Me alone. I'm sure if you talked about it, you would feel better. Come on. You can tell me anything. What can I tell you, Doctor? I, I, I'm i afraid. What do you want? You want me to shout out that I'm afraid? What is it that scares you? I'm afraid of death. I don't want to die for nothing. I can't go to sleep at night. I don't go to sleep because I'm afraid I won't wake up again. Everyone dies. It's inevitable. But death is just the natural conclusion of life. You don't get it, Doctor. I don't want to vanish into nothingness. We were all born into this world, and each of us has to leave it. Only death is not the end. It's a journey into the next world. And the great creator of the universe can grant you a life that extends into eternity. I've committed so many sins. I've hurt so many people. But even if you've committed enough sins to fill the oceans of the world, I know God's mercy is even greater. Have faith and pray for his forgiveness, and his grace will give you solace. It's amazing when you consider that the earth and the universe move together in harmony with one another. Everything from the smallest ant to the brightest stars of the evening sky are under God's control. We are not alone in this life, or in the next one, so you have nothing to fear, my friend. Now try to get some sleep. Yeah, you too. Hello, Shahan. Hello, Mr. Mahia. I won't keep you long. I have a job for you. I've heard. There's someone I want you to kill. I made a promise to someone, someone I respect, to quit this business. But my son is sick. I'll take this job just for him. Who is it? A cop. A cop? That's right. A cop who's been a bit of a nuisance. No, no. Wait a second. A cop? It's too risky a job. It's also a good paying job. More than you've ever been paid before, Shahan. So what do you say? Deal or no deal? No deal. I don't like it. I don't kill cops. Take the money. Do this one job for me. And then... You'll have more than enough money to save your ailing son. Now stop wasting my time. Take the money and get to work, Sean. Always remember what we talked about. And never forget your time here. Your family is the most important thing now. And the best way to honor them is to live your life with dignity, no matter what you choose to do. What's wrong with him? He was diagnosed with kidney failure. I didn't tell you because I didn't want you to worry. They said we needed a lot of money for his treatment. What are we gonna do then? Are we gonna lose hope because we're poor? Because we can't even afford to save our own son? I've spent many nights crying in despair. I don't know what to do. But I know what to do. And I'll do what I have to. Don't you worry. All right, I'll do it. Mrs. Octal? Can we talk for a minute? Of course, hon. Have a seat. Hmm. I have a problem, and I don't think that there's anyone that I can share it with. Well, do you think you could share it with me, Funda? It's a problem that's been bothering me for a really long time, and I don't know what to do. I'm listening to you, honey. It's all right. Go ahead. <sighs> I'm not sure why I'm telling you about it. I mean, 
I don't even feel comfortable talking about it with my mother. You know you can share anything with me, dear. I'm here for you. I don't know where to start. Some really weird stuff's been happening lately. What kind of weird stuff? I have a lot of nightmares, and I feel lost. Go on. I don't like this job. What can I do? You'll make a lot of money. After you're done, you can go anywhere you want. The boss will take care of everything. Don't you worry. I got a family, you know. I can't leave them behind. It's gonna be fine. First you finish the job, okay? What's going on here? It's a smile. What's going on here? What do you think you're doing? What's wrong with you, Hassan? Calm down. What started all this? Well, what is it? It was nothing, ma'am. I'm I'm sorry. What's going on here? Is there a problem? It's all right, Mrs. Soraya. There's no problem. No problem? It didn't sound like that to me. Just a little disagreement. They handled it amongst themselves. It's all over. All of you listen to me. This school has a zero tolerance for fighting and troublemakers. If there is any infraction of the rules, you will be subject to disciplinary punishment. As I told you before, there's no problem here. Could I see you in my office, Mrs. Haktan? It's clear to me that there was a fight here. I'll be waiting for you in my office. And we'll get to the bottom of this. Of course. I'll talk to you later. Are you going to give our names to her, Mrs. Haktan? If my dad hears about this, I'm going to be in big trouble. Go to my office and wait for me there. The rest of you get back to class. Yeah, that's always happened to me. Mrs. Soraya? I'm warning you for the last time. Stop trying to protect the students. I always do what I believe is right, and I'm not trying to protect anybody. You indulge these students far too much. I don't indulge them. I'm only trying to guide them. Well then, go ahead and guide them. But first, I need the names of all of the students involved in the fight. The disciplinary committee will need to hear their story. Why don't you let me talk to the students first? If it's something serious enough for the committee to handle, then I'll give you their names. I want those names now. Do your job and give me those names. It is not my job to rat out my students. However, it is my job to help them when they need it. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to get back to my job. Excuse me. Come on, let's set up upstairs.
take this job if I didn't need money for my son. I'm desperate. Here they come. This is the address he gave us. Yeah, let's check it out. What are you waiting for? Shoot him! I've got to make sure first. I've got to kill him with one shot. Shut up and wait. <laughs> 